Imagine for a moment, that you are a professional builder, and a client asks you to make a custom project, from a bike like this one. What would you do? I bet all of you would say, forget it. But not the builder on today's video. He did not only accept the challenge, but he also made of it, a truly astonishing work. In fact, most of their builds, are quite impressive. But not the way you are thinking. Their projects are impressive, because they are based, on small displacement motorcycles. Almost like miraculous transformations, which may be hard to believe. And this is a feat, that really deserves to be seen. Welcome to Racer TV. As you may have figured out by now, this is not a video about only one motorcycle. Because a builder who has the talent to create such a transformation cannot just be a lucky guy who had one single moment of inspiration. Some of you probably already know whom I am referring to. This is another work from Siegfried Fildichos and his team from La Garaje Customs located in the Philippines. I am sure you still remember them from these astonishing projects I presented last year. If you don't, you can see them by clicking on this link. So, this beautiful build started its life from this brand new Honda TMX150 Supremo. It is produced in the Philippines and it derives from the Honda GL150. As you see on these video clips, the amount of modifications is massive. The entire subframe had to be removed to allow a completely new substructure. The swing arm seems to be the original. And curiously, it looks to have the perfect reinforcements to adapt to monoshock suspension. One of the things I admire about Siegfried Phil is his excellent eye to reach the right lines. He also seems to have sort of a sixth sense to find the right size of each section. I also liked the addition of this bended tube on the top of the swing arm. I am sure it doesn't need it, but aesthetically, it really helps to make the swing arm a bit more interesting. I think there is no need to describe all the changes on this Honda. Even because most of them, are quite obvious. Therefore, I am going to explain what is not obvious, and makes this bike look so good. This fuel tank, can be easily purchased on the internet. And it also fits on the Honda CG125. I am sure most of you, will think that it looks too small for this Honda. Especially when we see this transition. But the truth is, I think the choice of this small fuel tank, is something genius. And here is why. Imagine fitting a very big fuel tank on this Honda, including also a big seat. I admit, that it still looks nice. But if you pay attention, with the smaller fuel tank and seat, all the rest, becomes apparently bigger especially the engine. Do you see the difference? This means the main goal of using a smaller fuel tank, is to hide the real size, of the small engine. I know it is just an illusion, but it works brilliantly. Although the swing arm looks like it was extended on this transition, I must say it is just an illusion, created by the camera's lens distortion. 
Big Fred Phil, really did a very good job with this one. But let's see another beautiful machine, but with a different approach. This has a more retro and vintage vibe, including some modern details. It is based on a Honda TMX125. For those who aren't aware, it is basically identical to the very well-known Honda CG125. The fuel tank has the same lines of a very iconic item. It is known as Mojave fuel tank. You can easily find it for sale on the internet. There are several different versions, depending on the dimensions. But this one, has the perfect size for this Honda. Just like on the previous project, this fuel tank is also a great choice, to hide the real size of this motorcycle. And the rear section of the seat, combines perfectly with it. No wonder that Shig Fred Phil spent so many hours to make it from scratch. Everything became extremely well proportioned, which is not easy for a TMX 125. Because the original swing arm is too short. That is why it was extended, just as the shock top fixing point. Overall, an excellent example, of what can be done with a small motorcycle. But this project is not as impressive, as the one you are about to see. As I said on the introduction, what would you do, with this motorcycle? Most people, would probably run away from it. But not Shig Fred Phil. Believe it or not, it became completely unrecognizable. Never thought this kind of utilitarian bike, could reach this point. Especially when we see, the unorthodox structure of the frame. This bike, is a Suzuki Rider R150. But it may have a different model name, depending of the country where it is sold. As you see on this photo, Chic Fred had to rebuild most of the frame. Which is not a surprise. But the look of this new substructure, ended up being quite interesting. I really like this kind of Ducati Monsters frame style. To be honest, I like everything. Fred Phil's talent, went very far on this one. But here is a pertinent question. Why did he spend so much effort, on transforming such a difficult motorcycle? If you search on YouTube, you will find that in some countries, this Suzuki model is extremely popular among the youngsters. And why? Well, let's just say, that with some upgrades on the engine, the bike can reach unbelievable speeds. In a way, this is like history repeating itself. Because it is similar to the cafe racer's birth, around 60 years ago. So, what more can I say about Shig Fred's work? I believe he is a true master, on finding the right proportions on any small motorcycle. Probably one of the best custom builders on this segment. And something tells me, we will see more of his work in the future. Thank you. For watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.